today I want to talk about how to make relationships better. You see, coaching is a fantastic uh, implement to help people get on with each other and create relationships because it's all about relationships. And of course, each relationship is a very, very complex thing. And um, to get to the bottom of uh, any particular relationship problems, I recommend one-on-one -on -one coaching. But there are some really practical techniques that can be used in any relationship to help improve that relationship. That is between loved ones or colleagues at work or mother and son or whatever. And I want to go through some of those. Uh, there's three of them that I'm going to go through. The first is the way we look at the world and how we look at the world differently. The second is uh, negative anchoring or when we how we press each other's buttons and the third is the way we feel honored in a relationship something we call strategies so let's jump into the first one for this video and that is that we see or we represent the world in different ways and, and generally uh, I'm going to talk about uh, people who look at the world from sort of a visual point of view uh, from an audio, like what they hear, and then a feeling point of view is, is very common. So I'd like you to picture this, okay? Two partners arrive at home, they've had a hard day at work, they're coming in, they want to relax. One of the partners, let's say the wife, wants to have a nice tidy environment and goes around putting things into place so that she can relax and know that everything's in its right place. And the other partner, say the husband, also wants to relax and he sits down on the couch and stretches out and feels the comfort of the couch. Now, the wife turns to the husband and says, get off your lazy fat ass and just tidy this place up. And the husband turns back and says, well, let's just relax first. Let's just actually take it easy. And the wife is like, I can't relax until everything's tidy. So it might be a situation that uh, you've heard of before. But let's uh, understand a little bit more about what's going on. It's quite likely that the wife has a visual representation system and she likes to see things neat and tidy. And when things are out of place, it makes her feel uneasy and unable to relax. So immediately she wants to keep things tidy so that then she can relax. Whereas the man may have a kinesthetic or a feeling representational system and for him to relax, it doesn't matter so much what things look like as long as they feel very good. So let's take this one step further and let's say the wife goes and gets some biscuits once things are you know, tidied away and sits down on the couch and gradually she drops some crumbs and the husband turns and says, oh, for God's sake, stop dropping those crumbs on the couch because his kinesthetics are now upset because he feels the crumbs underneath the seat of his, you know, seat of his pants or whatever. So again, for him, the kinesthetics is really uh, important. Other people might have uh, important audio content and if they've got screeching noises or ticking clocks, then they're going to be upset. Whereas if they have uh, words or beautiful music or people say nice things to them, it really helps them relax. Now, as you think about all the people you know, you might start cotton on to some people pay much more attention to the visual elements of their environment, some to the auditory uh, elements of their environment, and some to the kinesthetic uh, elements of their environment. And if you want to improve your relationship with one of these people, once you identify what is important to them, just make sure or just come at the fact that their, let's say, visual environment is imp as important as your preferred system, say your, um, you know, sound or audio uh, environment. And then try to help them have the environment that best suits them to be as least stressed as possible. And you'll find that your relationship will begin to improve just like that.